Welcome to our stream of Steam Next Fest. Yeah, we planned the stream for one and a half hour ago, but yeah, restream is quite a difficult thing to set up. Um, yeah, if you maybe not uh, read all of the documentation that is available. So if you stream, um, I would highly recommend that you set up your streaming software with H.264 and not with H.265 codec. Uh, that's one of the most important things to keep in mind um, if you stream to YouTube via Restream. But yeah, it's the first stream we have on YouTube and on Twitch simultaneously. Hopefully everything works. And the image quality might be a little worse than you're used to since uh, Twitch doesn't support 50,000 uh, kilobyte per second that, or kilobit per second that we usually stream with. So uh, this is um, one-tenth of that. So hopefully it will still look fine. But let's take a look at Steam Next Fest, which runs through next Monday. Um, I downloaded a few demos. This is the website. There are uh, several hundreds of demos there. Also a lot of new traders and stuff and sales, of course. But uh, we're all about the demos on this stream. This will be a little bit shorter than planned due to starting that late now. Um, I haven't played most of the demos, I think. Um, Haunty, I already played a demo of. Hopefully you can see Steam now in a bit. There you go. Yeah, Haunty is a pretty interesting um, horror top-down roguelike game. But yeah, you can see I have 26 demos downloaded of several hundreds. Um, those are just like the top, uh, the most downloaded ones and some that piqued my interest. Maybe we will start with the uh, games that are actually mentioned in the title, like Harold Halibut, um, created or in development um, at a German development studio. Let's give that a go. That's the heaviest uh, demo in terms of file size that I downloaded. Um, this one takes you like 50 gigabyte. <laughs> That's only the demo. Maybe the full game is also um, installed already had to change the language in-game from German to English. Um, this stream is in English, by the way, because you voted for English. Let me check the audio levels. Should be fine. Alright, I'm um, Harold Halibut. Let's give this a try. Once my controller starts working again. Those are the credits, by the way. I'm curious how many people are involved in the development. I think it's not a huge studio. Yeah, just five developers mainly who created the game, but yeah, a lot of more people involved in narrative and design. But I'm reading a lot of the same names actually. Nice music there as well. Wonder if that is licensed or actually made for the game. But yeah, I will skip that. Um, we will probably see that again, or you will see that again once you beat the demo. Of course, we won't finish all of these demos on this stream. But let's take a look at Harold Hedibert. Hopefully, I pronounced it right.
Harold, I'm afraid I need you to come with me. Oh, hi, Major. What's the matter? Is that leak bothering you again? It's your fine, your unpaid fine. I had a fine? You still do. Tubing without the proper credit on your tube card. Can you settle it now? Uh, no. But, but wait, I I'm sure I topped it up. Improper tube card management, Halibut. You surely recall that since last week, the Energy District tubes require your tube card to be topped up with blue credit. If an onward journey to the social district is intended, in addition to the usual weekly turquoise credit. Wait, but only last month it was a green. I don't make the rules, Harold, but the rules make me. Now let's get you over to the fine secretary so we can all get on with our day. fell foul of the end-user insufficient funds clause. I'm afraid if you really can't pay, you're going to have to think of someone who can. I guess that means you'll have to wait for the professor again. Who knows what she sees in you? Right, I'm needed elsewhere. There's a disturbing rise in the number of people traveling without the appropriate tickets recently. I hope for both our sakes not to see you again soon, Harold. in 13,760 AC, we enjoyed our first so there we are in classic point and click style. Unfortunately, I don't see my mouse cursor. That would be quite useful, but maybe I can just use my controller. Yeah, that works as well. I wonder if I disconnect the controller if it actually has point and click. But yeah, let's just use the controller, I guess. Can't you just put this on my account? I'll pay as soon as I... Mr. Halibut, you don't have an account. Not since we blocked it. Please, Mr. Secretary, let me just... I mean, look, can't we... <laughs> Your name is Mr. Secretary? <laughs> uh, my title, young man, is All Water Secretary Number 24. It is not my name. Anyway, I'm afraid all Water Corporation can't be seen to make exceptions. You'll have to go through the proxy payment process like everyone else. There were the dark yeah, it's pretty impressive. Every character is made of clay in this game. Light returned to the fedora. A light held aloft by the hands of all... Reminds me of the Dream Machine, if you remember that adventure. So, what are you in for? Oh, I'm just here for the great company. Aren't you a little young to start working for all water? What? No, I meant because it was a joke, doofus. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Could you let me wait in peace now? Oh, sure. We'll do. Have fun. Yeah, in the dream machine, everything was made of clay, um, cardboard, and broccoli as well. Whatever your excuse is, it'll have to wait. Busy, busy times. Mr. Secretary, please charge whatever Felix's fine is to the company tab, please. Of course, Mrs. Van der Vaart. Have a pleasant day. You too, Master Van der Vaart. Freedom! Have fun, Harold! We reluctantly interrupt your daily business for an important... <laughs> for some important information for all inhabitants of the Fedora One. Dear people, crew, and company, we seem to have discovered something super cool. Please do consider to congregate tonight at the Agora Theatre to... for some important information. Oh, Harold, here you are. I've been looking all over. Get your buns to the lab, if you please. I do beg your pardon, ma'am, but there is still the matter of an outstanding fine for Mr. Halibut to find a proxy for. A completely reasonably priced and fairly applied fine, if I do say so myself. Sir, please do not cause me further consternation. Just put it on my tab as always. Come on, Harold. ...to being approachable and accountable showed us at 87% passenger approval shortly afterwards. Mr. Halibut, you'll need this before you go. A ticket home? Yes, and only home. 
It's not valid for any other routes. There were the okay. Dark times. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And, and your tube pass should be unlocked again within 24 hours. So you'll be back to the luxury of fully automatic tube travel eligibility approval once again. I can't wait. Ah, the future. Tube travel. Every time I need you, Harold, it's something else. What's wrong with you? I can't handle your shenanigans while we're in the middle of this mess. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Next time. This must have an underlying cause. Hmm. I remember when you were still in school and your teacher telling me about how you would just stare out of the window, oblivious to her even shouting at you. It's like you've never snapped out of that daydream. So there might be some problems with the frame rate. Um, of course, all of these games are still in development. Everything is not finished there. Also, I I don't know if it's safe, but I set the graphics to oh, actually not to the highest settings, but in display um, we can also enable an upscaling option and a, dyna a dynamic resolution. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, everything is set to off, so we can actually see the real game and not nothing upscaled like the native quality. But I guess we should also set this to the highest. So now we should have the best graphics. Yeah, I have a relatively new system, but not the best. So let's see. Yeah, frame rate might be a little worse now, but let's see how it unfolds. Really nice graphics, really like that clay style. The environment really goes along with that, with the style of the characters. Oh, was a massive I was lowdown. Daydream, just the other stuff was boring. Harold, I'm not sure which is worse. The idea of you living with your head in the clouds or never being excited by life. Only boring people get bored. I'm sorry, Professor. Oh, okay. Wow. That's where I'm going to. I'm not sure if I want to go there. Can we have a look at the map? No. Very oh, we can zoom with the left trigger. That's like a fantasy language, I would suppose. Really unique style for that game. Really like the environments as well. Oh, okay, that was the all water district, sorry. Let's go to the central station. I suppose in the full game we will have a lot of more um, environments to you have explore. Is that Please exit the tube in an orderly manner. We, we hope you travel with us again soon. But why isn't the line active? What needs improving? A man has a right to know. I don't know the exact decision making. So we just follow her, I guess? But I assure you it will be for the good of your overall long Where did she go? Oh no, too many options. Already. Agora Arcade sounds good. Aww. Not in this demo. But Harold, I'm tired of chasing after you like you're a stupid butterfly. Hang on. What's a butterfly? That sounds silly. A butterfly is an insect from Earth. They had beautiful I like that the I suppose you could say um, voices get quieter when you are far, further away from the characters. That's unique for an adventure, I guess. Oh yeah, there's a lot of lags. There are a lot of lags there. So let's maybe put it to... Let's keep high. But maybe there was a reason <laughs> it was set to dynamic. It was set to dynamic 30 FPS by standard. And upscaling was actually deactivated. So, yeah, that's 
Well, the stream isn't 60, but yeah, let's try 30 then, I guess. Maybe it also works better with the animation. Not sure. Yeah, it's a little jittery now, I'm not sure. Maybe we just stick to medium. Set it to 60. Yeah, should be fine. Also streaming via the graphics card, so maybe your performance will be better with your RTX 4070. Yeah, I remember that environment from the first demo that I played way back. Water raised the two pairs again, and they never announced it properly. This time, it really was an honest mistake. Plus, there was this woman who. Quiet, Harold. We don't have time for your flights of fancy right now. There's important work afoot. Oh yeah. Have you checked the blockage in the filter station yet? And did you need to feed the fish too? Ah uh, yes, those two. I'm on the case. Bye, Professor. <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? How much is the fish? Uh, I'm sure those are all my tasks for the day. You seem to have waylaid your PDA. It really is a wonder you get anything done around here. Ah, thanks, Professor. It's got a life of its own. Strangely enough, I noticed you hadn't added your daily task list to it. And I don't want to have to remind you about them again. Oh, thanks. Let's see. Uh, so, I access the list. It'll come back to me. Just go to the four selection buttons. Okay. Um, where were they again? The upper right of the pad. Ah, uh, yeah. Top of the four buttons, right? Four buttons. Aren't those a little too many for me at this hour? Uh, okay. I really have to open the PDA. I can't do anything else. Navigation knob to highlight. And then hit the bottom button. Precisely. Oh. Okay, great. And it's the rightmost button to go back, right? <gasps> Indeed. Now hop to it. Let's hop to the B button. Gora arcades when you're done. <laughs> if you've never played a video game before, um, this tutorial is very useful. So much to explore in this environment, it's really cool. Also like the music. But not a lot of interactive elements there just yet. I'm used to uh, playing adventures where you can inspect everything and have your main character m make a dumb comment about every object in the vicinity, but yeah, maybe it's not that kind of game. Can I do something here? No. Can I walk faster? Oh. Yeah, it's a little like the Pip-Boy in Fallout. Maybe I should check these. Clean the filter station. Like always. And feed the fish. about this. Uh, if I would remember who is Cyrus. Okay. This is the only place I can go to? Yeah, there are still some issues with... Overlapping textures or stuff like that, but just tiny details. 
the volumetric smoke there in the background is impressive as well. I'm not sure what I'm doing here, but hopefully it's any good. Okay. It's a puzzle. If I press it again, it will go up again. Right. Oh, he doesn't stop walking. What's going on? I feel like I had this problem before in the first demo. But it could also be my controller. Uh, it's not fully charged, but it should be fine, actually. I guess it works in the menu, so it should work in the game. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I moved to a place where I shouldn't have moved to. Yep, that's a demo of a not released game. Um, but yeah, we have regular auto saves. That's pretty cool. Was Cyrus again? Okay, let's do this again to update the mission, the objective. Frat, it's out of food. Better ask Cyrus about this. Anywhere else I can go? Oh yeah, there we are. Getting a little Bioshock vibes there. Claustrophobic. And this brooding atmosphere. I don't know if that's the right word, but it came to my mind. Let's get to Cyrus Station. But sometimes you just have to go where they tell you. It's better than Moreau having to bail me out again. Okay, I can't leave. Guess I can contact Cyrus here somewhere. Maybe in the lounge. Are you Cyrus? Ah, Harold, perfect timing. Difference. Oh, Senor Tenenbaum, you too. I was just hoping to watch some Sun Tzu's Ash. Got any idea how to work the old telly? Yeah, I think it's one of those all-water ad only models. Ah, it should still be good for watching the announcement on tonight, though, right? You really gonna watch that? I'll just announce another tooth ice hike again. Well, who knows? Diego from Health Services said he heard something about the reveal of something important. The picture stopped, now the audio stopped as well. I'm not sure. The game is still working. Well, the stream is still working. Oh, I guess we lost it. Ah. Ah, well. I. Yeah, we played like half an hour almost so maybe you have to check out the demo for yourself i will definitely keep playing that but yeah for the sake of this stream i will try a different demo i really like the atmosphere the character design and uh, the voices sounded very good um, already uh, classier than many released games so yeah definitely check out harold halibut on steam um, during the next fest with the demo Let's check out a game that I've been requested to show or asked to show. Um, I will find it in this list. Or maybe it isn't. Ah, oh, there it is. Tiny Chaos. It's a roguelike. Check that out. Yeah, I know 
mostly nothing about the all of these games. Just I decided by the preview images to download the demos. This doesn't look like full res, I'm not sure if we can change anything here. Yeah, that's 1080p, I saw that. Indicator limit 30. I don't know what that is, but let's keep it there. It's not a frame rate, I guess. Great. Okay, let's start this. Some features are disabled. So we got the soldier knight and a lot of locked people two locked people soldier has the ability to use frenzy uh, every 30 seconds soldier will enter frenzy state and uh, double their attack speed for one second and then some additional boost for reload speed and stamina and the knight can cast and resist any damage with threshold of 10 and yeah okay a lot of info already <laughs> um single player is locked i guess we can only select the stage let's keep the soldier the default character and we have five different difficulties only easy and medium available in the demo let's check out meadow on medium controller seems to be supported nice Oh, okay, I see what where this is going. It's like this vampire game. The surviving. So yeah, it's an auto shooter. Or auto battler, I'm not sure how the genre is called. Maybe you can tell me in the chat if you know. Already got some... Yeah, plus two damage sounds good. Rate of fire definitely increased there. So yeah, that's actually my first time with that genre. It seems pretty easy for now, but yeah, I guess it will get pretty difficult over time. Always damage. Already dying. Reload speed could be faster. A special enemy incoming. Maybe I was wrong with roguelike, but I thought the developer told me it's a roguelike. But yeah, I guess those are roguelike elements there as well. Man, we get a lot of stuff. I guess that's for the demo. There's a chest. Oh, too many monsters. Damn. Yeah, I'm actually just walking. If you're wondering what I'm doing, just using the left analog stick. It's a game you can play with one hand, but I'm not sure if the face buttons do anything. Oh, I can. Actually dodge, that's very useful, that's very fast. I guess the lower bar is the stamina, it recovers very slowly actually. Attack speed, a reroll chance. Mm. Attack speed. Oh. 10 or more, and reload speed. More. I need more buffs. Or however you call them. Yeah, I'm already hooked. I could play this now for 24 hours straight. No, not really. But yeah, I'm not a huge fan of these interruptions all of the time. I mean, every five seconds. But then again, that's what the game is about, I guess. Ammo is going low on the top left. I'm not sure what's happening if I'm at zero. Okay, it just reloads. <laughs> is that the special enemy? Yeah, it's pretty fast. Oh, I probably do too if I don't roll. Yeah. 
more HP. My HP Baxter would be nice as well. We already asked before uh, how much is the fish. But yeah, it has references, less references that only Germans understand. Next speed, that sounds good. Very effective here. Is that only for a short amount of time? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm doing any good, but yeah, I'm still alive. Unique. Dodging reload. 20% ammo. Yep, that works. Whatever that is. Yeah, I've always wanted to check out Vampire Survivors. I guess this is the closest thing I've gotten to. Special enemy coming again. Orange blobs. Do that with L1. Can hide parts of the HUD. But yeah, that's as much as I can do. I can roll, I can move, and that's it. Maybe there's a special attack, like in a twin stick shooter, I'm not sure. I haven't found the button for that yet, or I haven't unlocked it yet. Well, oh, there's a chest. Taking damage 50%, chance to gain huge boost of movement speed for 3 seconds, cooldown 6 seconds. Reroll chance. Always reroll. Nice. More rerolls. <laughs> I guess that didn't work out with the reroll. Is that really my stamina, the blue one? Or purplish one? Yeah, I can't um, dodge anymore now. Now I can. Really needs quite a bit of stamina to do that. Mini boss, nice. Yeah, the music really doesn't do too much. I mean, it's a boss fight, but it doesn't sound like a boss fight. I feel like this gunfire sound will be in my head for weeks now. Or rather my ear. Every attack will deal between 50% and 200% damage. I'm running faster, I don't know why. Activated something with L3, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it did it automatically. Yeah, probably did. Those are a lot of enemies. Yeah, hoping to get to the next mini boss there. I guess I should 
pick up more coins. Almost at 18. There we are. Um, critical chance, always good. It's got a little stronger there, I guess. Not dying as quickly as in the beginning. <laughs> Not getting too many coins now. Really, I'm super fast, no idea why. Probably die soon. Can you even recover any health? Oh god. Now the mini pass. It was going so well. A few minutes ago. Give me health. AOE damage. Dude. Can't even get to the coins. This one. Oh. oh. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage. I should take better care of my stamina. Oh, I can't get to the chest now. Come in. I don't have enough stamina. Oh, they're not dying. Yeah, good. as good as that. And I'm suddenly super fast. No idea when that happens. Give me health, please. No health. Yeah, stamina after taking damage. I can't take too much damage anymore. Please give me health. I guess that's not how the game works. Oh. At least we got to see the first boss. Start. Oh yeah, max HP. Is that any good for me now? I need to heal. Oh yeah, it gives me a little health back. Wow. Stop reloading. Okay, I guess L2 does something. Increase my fire rate. Crap.
These guys look a little stronger. <gasps> oh. Well, that's the end of me. Yep. Yeah, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> It's a good entry point for the genre, I guess, um, since it's free as well. A lot of stuff unlocked there. Tiny Chaos, check that out on the Steam Next Fest. I'm not sure if it has a release date yet. Let's check out Harold Halibut from Slow Bros. Yeah, uh, first. It's a kind of adventure. Uh, it's Exploring coming in 2024. And. Let's see when Tiny Chaos is scheduled for a first quarter of 2024 um, to launch into Steam Early Access. So yeah, I have a bunch of more games lined up, um, but not that much time. Um, there was another game I was requested to play. Let me check that out. Yeah, always if you have, if you want to uh, want your game to be shown here to a uh, non-existent to small audience <laughs> then feel free to reach out to us on x or twitter or youtube or anywhere or on twitch where we are now after a few years again streaming thanks to restream um, let's check out bring the chickens home from clyde smets a single developer interesting title oh it's my xbox controller let's do it They might switch to different animals and the final product. <laughs> Why does the fox sound like a dog? I guess it's fine. MSAA disabled. That doesn't sound right, but I will probably get a huge... A lot of lags there. Player select. Oh, there's co-op. Nice. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, co-op friendly games in the Steam Next Fest, actually. What's oh, a character editor? I didn't want to do that. Oh no, so many options. Yeah, let's see. The gorilla. I can't use my keyboard, no? I'm on a PC. I can't use my keyboard. Uh, how fast is that? <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Just okay. Maybe. Maybe I can tap now. Yep. Uh, let's try time attack. Interface looks a little like a mobile game, so to speak. Not sure if that is in development or already out there on mobile devices. Bring the chickens home as quickly as you can. Chickens to bring home 50. All right. That fox looks threatening. This is what I was born to do. It's just like Ocarina of Time. Was made into a full game, that little fetch quest there. These evil foxes. I need 50, really? They are all dead already. This is quite bloody. Wait, where? Why don't they go the, themselves there? Why did they? Why they prefer suicide on the cliff? What's with that? Okay, maybe I, that one is saved. Or not? Okay, no. Halfway there. Let's hope some are still alive. Why are you following me? He's 
on to us. Yeah, I wonder if there is some variety to the gameplay or if you have to do that in every ch every stage. I guess there is survival and time attack in the demo. That's pretty cool. Oh god, that sound. That will haunt me. Max chickens. <laughs> it's the best text you can have on a screen. Oh no. It's fine. We have enough. Hopefully. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's not mind the ones outside there. They're leaderboards, I guess. Cool. I wonder if they're online, probably, or if they're just pre-played from the developers. But I would suppose those are online. You can probably look that up on the Steam page as well. There's a shop. Uh, okay, speed booster. Sounds good. Shield me, protect yourself and checks with the sh and checks with the shield that surrounds you. Okay, the next level. Oh that's Frogger. Make sure you look both ways before crossing the road. One hundred. Are you kidding me? Oh yeah, the music. I knew this game would pick up on the second level. Everybody's dying by the cars. Max chickens again. And this kids is how your burgers are being made you can get at burger king and mcdonald's and oh no half of them drowned the other half is eaten i got 12 i hope they respawn oh no oh no He's killing me. This looks bad. <laughs> Can that fight back? I'm a gorilla. Why can't I fight back? Just like in the Hakashka song. Oh, I, I can't control anymore. Okay, my controller ran out of battery as well. So, okay, should work again. I guess you need to lure the foxes into the cars, which is not a good message. Okay, this will be a long stage. I guess I have to lure them first into death. Oh, that sound when he's moving. It's the best. Oh no. Getting them all together for them. Why is he waiting? He's cheating. He's way too advanced for being a fox in this game. Guess he's a fox hound. I'm glad there are no snakes. Oh my god, 30 of 100. Yeah, I probably won't see the end of that demo. <clears throat> yeah, we definitely need to kill the foxes first. Which is a sentence I would have never thought I would say on the stream.
Yeah, I'm not sure if that's the way it's meant to be played. The music always picks up when I'm here in this area. Oh, he's fast. Oh, I can't eat here. But I can live happily after ever after with these chickens now. <laughs> now he's caught in there. Maybe that's a tactic as well. you to safety oh no they're everywhere yeah somehow there's a similar similarity to the last game at least in the perspective and the movement why is he attacking me he's doing my job here Almost there. Yeah, it's an interesting concept, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not a game you would play for 30 hours non stop, but. I mean, there are no technical issues with the game, which is already impressive. With Steam demos and single developers. some interesting modes in there to freshen things up already the difficulty spiked here a little it's at least for me not that easy I, don't know. I need more cars Just need 10, that should be fine. Let's go. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's probably an achievement to not kill any wolves or foxes while still saving all of the chicken. If there wasn't, there is one now. <laughs> Uh, I can only repeat the level, so I guess there are only two levels in the demo. Like a level select screen? I guess not. That's just time attack and survival. Let's check out survival. Wildlands. It's the first level again, probably. It's the survival of the fittest in this world. Save as many chickens as you can. Crocodiles as well. The natural nemesis of chicken. Okay, so if the bar runs out on top, then it's over. And it runs out quite quickly. Oh, those crocodiles are out for those chickens and they are base camping. Yep, the foxes are base camping. Okay, and then the bar fills up again. Why is he not stopping following me? Uh, when I save some chicken. There's a level indicator on the top left. I wonder what that means. Okay, the crocodiles are quite slow as expected. But they're quite big. Music stopped. Oh, there are a lot of foxes spawning. Stop it. Yeah, the level's not increasing. Maybe I'm not that great. At this game, at least. Save 26 already. 
Oh, the songs. <laughs> I guess I found the first bug. Oh, I can pick them up with A. Oh. No, <laughs> stay in there. Not you. Can I pick you up as well? Can I actually fight him with A? No. Oh. Super gorilla mode. Yeah, this is over. Yeah, I get punished for trying out new gameplay features. Yeah, it's definitely an interesting uh, concept and impressive for a single developer. It also has co-op and everything's better in co-op. So you can actually scheme some tactic tactics there to bring the chicken home. So check out bring the chickens home on Steam Next Fest or during Steam Next Fest. You can also always wishlist the games, except when they're, when they're being stuck and you can't get back to Steam. There we are, that's uh, just an error message that you probably can't see. And we're back at Steam. Um, let's try out maybe another game from the title of the stream. Let me check out the title of the stream. Uh, Outcast, Pacific Drive, and Tales of Cancera are also games that I'm very interested in. Um, maybe let's check out Outcast. Of course, this demo will be way too long, I would expect at least, uh, for the stream. But yeah, I liked uh, Outcast uh, Second Contact, which was a full remake of the first game. First game is quite difficult nowadays to play, just like System Shock. So that's cool that there's a remake as well. From the uh, original developers, Appeal Studios, and this is the sequel, the long awaited sequel to Outcast. This uh, third person RPG. And this is German. Um, let's hope we can change the game language to English. So there's no two in the title, but it's actually the sequel. Oh, I don't want to send data of me to Embracer or any other company. There's Polish dialogue, there's Spanish, and a bunch of languages that I can't really make out, but it's probably Korean, Russian, and Chinese, maybe? Maybe also Japanese, I'm not sure. I feel like the music is a little loud there, but let's let me check. Yeah, I guess it should be fine. Oh, it's automatically set to DLAA, something I can select in Cyberpunk, but yeah, maybe it works on that game. Motion blur, I'm not a fan of motion blur. But yeah, quality is on default on Ultra. So maybe it's not that demanding for your hardware. So there are three different demos. Or is that like the difficulty level? No, there's an open world demo. There's a combat demo and a story demo. So let's try the first demo. Each uh, demo segment can be played through twice. Okay, normal, four different difficulties. Okay, you really need every button in that game. I hope there will be a tutorial, but probably not. That's why they explain you that. Welcome to Adelpha. Can glide. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 
yeah, there's some lags there, but that's probably due to the high graphics settings. Maybe we need to tone that down a little. Maybe switch to performance DLSS level. Oh man, I, I love... Oh, I can just press Y. Oh, it's still lagging. Oh well. Wow. Yeah, there are so many options. Ah, maybe Visa and Cups? Looks like a temple to me. Maybe that actually helped, or maybe just because I'm closer to the ground. So yeah, um, those demos are timed, so you can play through them twice. That actually means you're locked out of the demo once you complete it twice. That's not a great thing to have. You need to make several Steam accounts to play this demo several times, then <laughs> more than two times each for each demo. Maybe it's not that way. It doesn't sound great. But yeah, it actually looks fantastic. A lot has been improved since the um, remake for last gen of the first game. <laughs> that pack thing is a little like e -legs. This is an exploration demo. I'm not sure if I can actually fight here or do any missions. Maybe it's just to show off the environment, which is quite rich here. Quite lively, everything. Um, how big is this map? Oh, oh. Oh, it's quite big. At least there are several locations which are quite extensive. I'm not sure if it can actually um, move uh, seamlessly from one uh, uh, location to the next or if we can only have smaller hub areas or segmented areas like in the old Monster Hunter games. Yeah, remember in the beginning of a second counter you can also dive into the small pond, but it's not quite as impressive as this here. Maybe Horizon Forbidden West sparked more um, detailed underwater environments. Oh yeah, I can also... Let's print. Probably doesn't make a lot of sense. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing, but it's faster. I'm not actually pressing any button, so at least we see something of the environment. It's actually quite big. Yeah, I guess we can explore all of this, maybe even. Not sure if there's a border here. Probably. Yeah, the lags are not that great, but it's probably due to the settings and also me streaming. Probably not how the game is meant to be experienced. Some collectibles, module parts. I would have preferred it if there is one demo which covers every aspect of the game and not the separation between exploration, combat and story. But yeah, at least 
if you're after one feature, you can try that out right away. Welcome to Hobbiton. Getting some Lord of the Rings online wipes here. Not graphics wise, the graphics are pretty neat. But yeah, the lagging is quite annoying. take any more <laughs> already for second thing I try to pick up very impressive visuals here and we actually go there <laughs> yep we can who needs that new uh, game from the no man's sky developers was a very different game but yeah huge environment oh ah oh, shit here they come I guess I transited into the combat demo yep I'm the best third person action player with the controller oh with B you can cancel your glide hey guys are you fighting with each other Can I ride you? I'm not sure. Was that a <laughs> gesture that I can? Are they killing them? No. I can't aim while gliding. Already overheating. Oh, doesn't look good. I feel like I'm making no damage at all. Cool. I'm not sure, but the health doesn't look that good right now. Can probably use some items somehow. to do it oh. yeah there's way less lag in the combat than in the exploration so I suppose that's maybe some shader can stuff or or uh, more likely some traversal stutter I mean probably not shader compilation I need to get those items man they are not friendly more plants lasers I must have pressed something to hide the enemy health bar oh. what is going oh, on yeah. I was stuck yeah he's down There are a couple more. Mm. I guess I could improve the speed in which I turn the camera, maybe. Camera sensitivity. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, combat is pretty... Okay. <laughs> I guess with mouse and keyboard it would work better for me, but right now I'm using controller. And yeah, it works well, but the feedback you get from shooting is not that impactful. Not like Destiny, for example. Okay, yeah, very big environments here. Um, also, track that location. See what we can do there. Feel like I'm not using the tools or the gadgets the way they're meant to be, but yeah, I'm getting from A to B. That's the most important thing. You should heal a little more. I like how quickly you can use those items, how seamlessly. But maybe I've played too much like a dragon lately, so <laughs> where you have to select each item first and stuff like that. Uh, at least in the operation shrine Lee has told me about. It's just like that uncharted. But yeah, I never played Elex, but that's mostly what I saw people doing in that game. You can enjoy the view here as well. The viewing distance is quite impressive, even though there are quite some pop-ins, but yeah, there is a lot of foliage to be rendered. I'm not sure if I will find the way into the shrine. Yeah, I only have eight minutes left. Yeah, the traversal stutter is a little bad there. Set activity. I can use all my skills that I acquired during the last few minutes. I never lost the spirit of the gorilla from the last game. Almost there, I hope. Oh no. I'm stuck here. Oh no. Oh no. That's it. At least you can restart with a single button press. At least if you're not as keen as me and trying to save it when you can't save it. I will try again. I want to see what the... Okay, okay I need a do-over. What the reward is? <laughs> How did I do that earlier where I constantly use the chat bag? Yeah, I like those games that show you the commands all the time, especially in a demo. This one does it. Really nice music as well. Uh, the first game already had a nice soundtrack. I mean the remake, Second Contact. Didn't really play much of the original. I tried it years ago. Of course, not when it was released. Probably wasn't playing games then when it was released but yeah it was kind of clunky and i'm glad there's a remake never finished that played maybe like eight ten hours of that got a little too repetitive for me yeah the strong the strongest were always the dialogues and the different factions that are intertwined of course, we don't see any of that here. I'm out of time. Yeah. 
Let's explore some more. But I guess we can also have a look at the other demos. Oh, what did I do with that? Change the FOV. Apparently there are a lot of collectibles we saw there on the top right. Different currencies as well. We already saw a little of the combat. It actually says one of two. So what happens if I played one more time and abort it? Then I'm locked out of the demo. That's not great. I thought we were past that. But then again, there are always those demos you can play once on a console. But now we also have that on a PC. Not a good trend. Especially if the, tem uh, if the demo is time limited as well during Steam Next Fest. I think that's already enough of a limitation. Well, why do that even? If it's not an online game and servers aren't an issue. So yeah, I can't play the exploration demo again. Ah, that's bad. I wonder what happens if you uninstall the demo and install it again and also delete your save file. Maybe then you can try it again. But yeah, it's, it's stupid. Let's try the story. I wonder if we can see the intro to the game. Or if we're already well equipped with skills and stuff. Always love the seaside. Yeah, we're just in the midst of it, I guess. Yeah, that's the game. That's not the stream lagging, but yeah. The environments are quite uh, detailed, so, and it's a pre-release demo. Hi there. Got some questions. Yes. What's a Daoka? They're circular portals that connect different locations. We Talans have built our villages around them. Many believe that the now, Oka were left behind by the ancients who built them using uh, technology we don't have access to. The uh, Oka can be turned off if you remove its energy core. This is what the invaders did. Invaders? Who are the invaders? It's quite cool that you have a glossary you can pull up at any point during the It's like talking to somebody with a, uh, a lexicon next to you. How do I get out of here? See you around. Come back anytime. Very expressive. Um, the opposite of our hero here. Oh yeah, that was this chat. Oh god, <laughs> performance is falling apart when I use that. Can't take any more. At least for now. It's like that X-ray um, vision in on Prime Video. We can pull up uh, info on the actors here with the gloss area. It's quite cool. But yeah, I would have preferred like an intro sequence uh, where you're introduced to the world and not stumble around like me here <laughs> trying to get the hang of what is actually going on here. But yeah, there's actually a quest there. Uh, find and talk to Sapper's chief. Get to location marked on the minimap. Talk to the teller. Still getting traversal stutter here. But yeah, can't change that right now. Are you the chief? <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. Hi. Are you the chief of the village? You. You look like a world traveler. An action-oriented fellow. My name is Tanak, and I am the leader of Sapa. Can I ask you something? I'm an open book. Shoot. I don't need a book, but shooting? Yes, 
Shooting is exactly what I'm looking for. How much for the gun? Sorry, Tanak. It's not for sale. Sorry. Let me clarify. I need the hand attached to the gun. Your hand. Pulling the trigger. I'll pay you. Yeah, I wanted to ask what supper. Um... actually wanted to pull up this, the chat, but uh, due to the technical difficulties, um, actually it wasn't open. So we just didn't get any messages, but yeah, sorry if you wrote anything in the chat, I didn't watch it again, <laughs> like uh, always when, you, when I stream. But yeah, now I can see the chat. I will just have to do some adjustments. What's so special about this little settlement you have here? It's beyond special. This little settlement is the gateway to the Seas of Adelpha. It's a community of fine, upstanding fisher talent and... Oh, who am I fooling? The community dwindles by the moon, our economy tanked once the invaders closed the Taoka, and the only fish left are Senegtas. Yeah, ever since the first Mass Effect, we can't have not dialogue wheel in any game. So they're coming back to Sapa to feast on us. Can you get rid of them? Depends. What's a Gamor? Oh my god. Four-legged scavengers. Razor sharp teeth. Feel like in every dialogue, I would keep pressing RT in that game. Gamors. All right, calm down. I will help you. I'm sure they're still slower than a bullet, anyway. Who are you actually? I am Tanak, leader of Sapa. How can I turn the Daoka back on? Portals are powered by old energy cores, pre talan technology, and the invaders confiscated them all. So we are kind of stuck here. Anyone who tries to retrieve the core gets reverted by the invaders, including my dear, dear brother. So we just stop thinking about it. They must be keeping it in one of their bases. There you go, action man. Get that brain working. I've forbidden the plans <laughs> from going near the closest base, but if you, uh, if you want to steal back the power core and power the Daoka, I wouldn't be mad. I'd be happy. Just say portal, please. I've never tasted Synecta before. You like it? Do I have any other choice? Those nasty carnivorous fish have become our main source of food, mainly because they ate all the other fish. Something to do with the temperature of our waters. But Adam explains it better than I do. Talk to him if you want to know more. See you later, Tanak. Yep. Yeah, this feels like the demo you should play first. Yeah, quite a lot of quests available in this demo, but we only have 80 minutes. So the next thing we could do, a lot of question marks there. So maybe I just pick one. Quick mission. Let's find the Daoka's core. Get to location mark in the minimap. Go up there. There's also an outpost, uh, but the difficulty level is quite low. Wow, that was a mega lag. 
But yeah, I like the traversal. It's quite seamless if you know what you're doing. Gotta get the Stargate to work again, I guess. Yeah, very varied um, environments that we've seen already. Got the jungle, got the palmy beaches. A lot of enemies. I will try keyboard and mouse. Yeah, that works better for me. Frame rate is quite low again, but yeah, maybe I can something here already on quality and performance the DLSS so maybe that's oh, can change it from ultra oh there we are let's change it to high yeah still lagging Yeah, the performance issues could be related to the game, but uh, they could also be related to my streaming setup, so you should try it for yourself to find that out. You need to clear out this outpost, actually. Looks like some kind of terminal. Huh. The shield device is reacting to it. Where's the chest? up there what chest are they talking about I don't get the chest of it oh there was a chest up there yeah I'm probably gonna die Thanks for that. Well, I'm spamming Q, and not a lot happens to my health. I guess I found a better weapon. <laughs> Thing explodes. I press Q, but nothing happens. Okay, I don't know how to do that, but that works. Fancy weapon module. Cool. Nice, we got the core. One location where the performance doesn't fall apart. Wait, how do I? I don't know how to glide with mouse and keyboard. Yeah, I'm more used to Spider Man. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, especially the underwater graphics are really impressive. Um, okay, I guess my controller will recharge at some point. So M is not map.
guess F is gliding. We arrived at the Stargate. Which is totally not a Stargate. Oh, that was short. We can t uh, teleport to. Or can we teleport anywhere here? Nope, of course not. Yeah, I guess I need to unlock those locations to teleport to. I guess we go back. But yeah, um, that is a short glimpse into Outcast A New Beginning, the sequel to Outcast Second Contact. Check out the demo on Steam during Steam Next Fest. And we will get to Pacific Drive. The game I've been keeping my eye on. Gather DX12 and DX11 mode for that. Let's use the recommended DX12 mode. So that's like a roguelike dystopian survival game with a car. Watched some trailers of it, but I haven't seen too much gameplay. Let's see if we can change to the language. Spielweise. Oh my god, there is a separate car FOV and a player FOV, that's good already. Car quirks, default. Blur. Adiris is, is off. Um, maybe there's a reason for that. Everything is set to ultra, let's see how it goes. Lush forests, hiking trails, and scenic drives. Explore Pacific Drive. The Olympic Peninsula. Really nice UI design here, or menu design. Wait, customers? A lot of options there, but I will just start it. Are there subtitles on oh, radio music? Oh, hopefully that is not licensed. And uh, getting blocked on YouTube. Oh, some options are set to medium or high.
Sulfur and smoke glows through the snow. It smells like money. Rivers for spines between the dry pines of bones unbecoming. And you might have to paint behind. back with the controller which is probably more it's cold comfortable in this game what a way. it's quite a big dead zone in the steering the dead sound so big <laughs> like it starts turning once i um did a full twist of the stick um options keyboard steering sensitivity <laughs> controller sensitivity but I don't want the sensitivity, I want the dead zone, but I guess you can't really change that. Hang behind me. That's really odd. I guess that simulates of driving a real car. These lights on the highway. The whole exclusion zone thing and 30 years, the big walls, and everything reminds me of Stalker, but it's not Stalker, it's Stalker Drive. Yeah, Stalker 2 is another game I'm looking forward to, but they should take their time how long, however long they need. Guess you need to get used to the driving in this section. But it's quite difficult. Since the dead zone is so enormously big, I don't know why they did that. But quite nice music that probably gets us blocked because it ran all the time before. Without commentary. Was that the nuclear reactor or not? I don't know where we're actually going. Launch and construction facility. Maybe we have some AWEs here and the Federal Bureau of Control. We're actually part of Federal Bureau of Control. Who knows at this point? Everything's in the remedy verse. Oh no.
I suppose we're just gonna ignore the anomalies until we can't. Oh yeah, that's it for the car. That's it for us. So that's Pacific Drive. Interesting game. Oh, hopefully we'll get a little more gameplay. Wonder if it plays a little like Chernobyl light. Gonna ignore the flying wheels, doors. I mean, there's transportation all around you, just put it together. Yeah, that's how you do a tutorial here out cars developers of course it's a very different kind of game so you can't really compare that I don't know if that's an anomaly or a glitch maybe a mix nice you can actually interact with the environment yeah, um, actually, I like the graphics overall, the whole atmosphere, but then I see the kind of, I don't know if it's Unity, but yeah, I guess from the launcher it could be Unity, not quite sure. The grass here, I'm not a huge fan of the foliage. Someone out there? Hello? But uh, I'm sure they will redo everything now that I said that. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Let's put the wheels back on. Okay, that's not English. But that's RB that I'm pressing. Keep it. Pre oh, okay. Sorry, I, I couldn't quite read what was there. <laughs> Surprisingly, the summer tire. <laughs> Gotta find all the tires. I wonder if that will get any tiring. But I'm not gonna retire my punts anytime soon. Do we have all of the wheels? I guess. <laughs> yeah, there was a game, I think, Trelopi. Where uh, you also travel along with your car and have to uh, keep it in shape. Francis Cook, located in mid -zone sector B. I think it's set in Eastern Europe up your distress signal in the during the Cold War. It looks like you're somewhere around it's quite an interesting game as well. Hey Francis, come here. It started Francis. under a different name and we're also... Alone for a second. Yeah, maybe I should talk over the data. Uh, yeah, Jalopi started under a different name, but... Uh, we also covered that. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, with you copy? Always talks when I'm talking. Oh. Oh. Um, with a CES demo, but yeah, they, 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 I don't quite remember what the original name was. Thing back. Huh. Unfortunately, the developers pulled the 
unplug and um, stop the support. But it's still a uh, game worth checking out. How did you get to the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the... Tobias is really talkative. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. How do I drive? Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. You close the shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Oh, put to drive, okay. Yeah, now it works a little... I was about to say it works a little better, but I'm not sure. It's like a delay? Weird. Well, or maybe it's my controller. Or the car, because it's all messed up. But yeah, it seems to drive to the right a lot. Maybe that's the infamous stick drift. Or the car is broken. The game is broken. Guess we're out of gas. Oh. Get drunk for fuel can, nice. But yeah, I'm gonna check my controller first if that stick is drifting or if that's actually meant to be that way in the game. Yeah, stick seems to be fine. That's a fuel can. Okay, interesting looking. I don't know if it's meant to be Russian or... Because sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. No, why do I get in automatically? What's in my face, actually? to do that uh, drive east to find shelters I have a broken down car that car is definitely broken down I wasn't too sure how many uh, survival elements are in there, but so far it's quite easy on the survival elements. Don't have to constantly eat or find shelter. But maybe th what I'm seeing here is an ind ind indicative of I should find shelter quite quickly. Oh, what's going on here? Should get in there. It's what's happening here? Well, that's quite scary. There it is again, that blip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Okay, that was interesting. But B. Well, okay, that car. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had work at wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the Breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. Uh oh I don't want to be here for too long. Yeah, it's probably... 
let yourself in. Oh, okay. How are you gonna like your Intentional that the car is behaving face not face in the way you, you wanted to. Where's East? <laughs> I've completely lost all sense of direction. And there wasn't much to begin with. This looks good, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I didn't put it into drive, but it's fine, I guess. I put it back. Yeah, maybe I should save fuel. My vision is kind of bad. How can I fix that? Oh, God. Who's there? Oh, the shop. Oh, God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Give me that. Oh, my head. Uh, it's an emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and well, uh, oh. get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super official zone business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell oh, that voice, because she's like a nail gun to the skull. So, uh, another breach, uh -huh. How do you outsiders not understand? And Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun. Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ah, oh, God, unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Now we can see the health of each car part. Oh, did I just kick it? Yes, I can, and I did. Um, I don't want to kick it again. <laughs> I'm too afraid to open it. Let's stop the wipers. There were words before. Why are there no words anymore? Edit. Sometimes it's Russian, sometimes it's English. <laughs> it's quite confusing. But yeah, it runs a little smoother now, I feel. Chaloppi is actually one of the few games where you have the survival elements and travel throughout the country in a car. So I guess it's a unique form of gameplay and of course it's uh, 
there's a lot more budget behind that game than Chalopi. Yeah, I did that, but what am I supposed to do now? How do I get out? Door open headset. I guess we're doing some crafting. Set. Well, there are a lot of blueprints in that game. I did it do that? No. Oh, that's why. <laughs> have items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Yeah, this is also still tutorial probably. After a while you have to think of those things yourself. <laughs> I'm not really uh, used to the genre, a survival game player. So uh, this <laughs> will take a while. about to say our inventory is quite big but then it's almost full already mechanics kit all the most essential items and equipment that allow a mechanic to do their job you want a few of those on standby to handle engine or wheel trouble why can't i take that duct tape Ooh. um what next let's equip the pry bar like Gordon. A lot of stuff. A lot of plastic. Let's take all the plastic. Some road flares. And that's it. Dumpster by the garage door for crucial items. Here. The items from the abandoned car. There must be some more items here. RB. Well, I can destroy the panel. I don't want to do that. Door. What's a scrapper? We just need scrap. Maybe destroy stuff to get scrap. <coughs> yeah, that was probably what I need to do. Yeah, that's it for the crowbar. <laughs> Thanks, dumpster. Ah. Now we're getting somewhere. Say hello to my little friend. Okay, oh items from the car behind the car for your checklist. Yeah, but where's the checklist? Scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and doors. What I was trying to do. Isn't that from Half Life? Wonder of wealth will I have to say anything about this? Glass shards. Cheat. Yeah, that's a lot faster. 
We have to pick things up with RB, but okay. I'm not sure if that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh yeah, the thing is on the left. We really forgot about that. Do we need to destroy them? Or we need to take the summer tower, right? No. Destroy the problem. Got everything. Craft a crew door. It's nice you can plan your trips here and also can see how many anomalies or dangers are there, the weather and fuel usage and stuff like that also plays into that, so it's quite interesting. What you can do there, install the crew door. Take everything. You just need to press it once and then the auto completes it. The game auto completes it, I guess. It's a bit of magic. I guess that's where you can craft a rear bumper. 88%. It's green, but it's not quite there. Oh yeah, just put on some new paint and the summer tires are fine. Totally a car now that survives the apocalypse. At 100. 99, of course. Probably that tire. can't get to 100 but I will make sure <laughs> that we can't get there if you want to, I can be there. or if we can get there uh, okay maybe it's that tiny bit missing there okay that tire is probably the missing thing I guess we actually need to get to 100 because it's not progressing Magic paint. Nope, it's not enough. Oh, the headlights even. I 
mean, there is no headlight here. But we don't care about that. Again, the flat tire, a search for crucial items in the dumpster. Scanned it. So we have two options, repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with a spare tire found in the locker. Let's use the spare tire. Where's the locker? Maybe if I, if I spin my, around myself a couple more times then I will see it. It's just inventory full. Oh no. Well, we probably need to remove that first, right? Kick it off. Yes, I need to equip it here. Oh no, I keep kicking it. It's why is it A? Why do you pick up stuff with RB but you can kick stuff with A? Who made that decision? Probably someone who wants to see the world burn. Oh my God, this is not ending. Scan the loose wheel. Equip the mechanics. even have the mechanics kit first aid kit there it is oh do I use it to fix the wheel the wheel is gone it disappeared do we need to do it in the menu here so drop it and then use the mechanics kit yeah, that's how you fix wheels. Good as new. Probably could have equipped that right away. Yeah, the symbols are an interesting idea not to have to localize everything. But yeah, sometimes it's a little confusing on what you can do with stuff. At least for me. What's LB? Okay, scanning stuff. In Britain, they call this area the boot of the car. Okay, interesting. Just drop stuff in there. Yep. Craft mat in the. Do we get a craft mat? It could. Oh, there's more stuff here. Craft mat, there it is. Hopefully, I still have that first aid kit. For arc device. Prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your north star and the only way back to safety. 
Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. We said dumpster quest there, but I don't know here. Friendly dumps. <laughs> Magic dumpster. Air party, nice. Dash stuff. Without having to go here all the time. Pick up the gear blueprint. Short presses. Oh yeah. And now we have to craft. Good. We're picking up blueprints, but we're not crafting the stuff. Maybe we need that later. Okay. Oh, keep it pressed means the arrow. borders all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state what that means is the shape size and makeup of just about everything constantly changes a mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye and it does constantly it's caused by something we call instability we're completely surrounded by it and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it we can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Follow the access road. I wonder if those three hours are in game time or real time. I suppose you get used to the dead zone thing. And the car was just really broken and hard to drive before. Okay, we skip forward. What are we doing here? But I didn't have the option. Made me do that? Or maybe you can't actually explore all of the world. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. 
Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The ARC device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. So we need scrap metal, gas cylinder, and gear for that. We already got the scrap metal required, but we still need one gas cylinder and two parts of gear. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts... That's the code for destroy everything. ...since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Or we can... Also. Look at you! Take everything zone, with one click? No. They grow so fast, don't they? That's the material. As I'll be back at the helm. It's been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. I mean the right button, but uh, press too long. Oh, what do we need? Actually, we can. Oh, we need one more piece of. Yeah, I can see playing that for a longer duration of time. Not on this stream, but yeah, we played it a little longer because you actually need more time to uh, to actually get into the whole crafting survival. Th Thing. But yeah, I will definitely play it a little longer. Craft that one more thing. <laughs> Probably the main loop of the game. Uh, two gear. I thought I had gear. We don't need that stuff anyway. Get gear. <laughs> Electrician's kit. Recommended tool hands. I have those. You have the kit. It's not. Oh, why can you duck to hide? Maybe some gear here. This is the tutorial stuff. Hey, uh, uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They oh, we can to know what getting now? into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its wow. siren call. What is that? that? Is probably worming its way into your Recommend and collect materials and craft replacement this is the first parts. Time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, Let's well, get that plasma. Oh man, that Tobias. I'm not sure if he will get a little annoying during the demo. And now 
I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Yeah, that's true. Though at least they are aware of Tobias being very annoying already. Okay, two more plasma. Probably not here. What was that? The anomalies. That's nice that you can pretty much take everything apart. Doesn't say electrician's kit now. Open it. Feels like there is one more plasma generator that I'm not seeing. Probably back there. But yeah, I wanted to wrap up this stream. So there are a lot of more hundreds of uh, demos that we haven't shown. Definitely check out Steam Next Fest. Good opportunity to play some upcoming bigger titles like this or Stormgate, which we will probably play later this week maybe and also of course smaller games that usually don't have so much visibility which I don't have as well at this time but yeah I will try to find the plasma generator the last remaining one off stream and we'll definitely continue Pacific Drive very interesting setting um, like the whole crafting mechanics so far and my car is jumping for joy already as well so yeah thanks for watching and see you next time